Somebody on Facebook uh, reminded me that I missed an excellent opportunity to start a build video for my Corvette. Um, I guess it's not technically too late to start, um, but it is in progress. It's not a huge one yet. I have, I have um, it's a, it's a two-stage build, I guess I should say. So right now, I'm working on doing heads, cam, headers, and maybe intake. Definitely fuel system. Um, and uh, that's it, I think. But it's a C5. And if you don't drop the engine, then doing all this crap is a lot of fun. Uh, I haven't had any big deals yet. Nothing crazy has happened. All the header bolts came out. I had a couple that came out really slow, which was definitely a, a scary moment because I hate having to pull bolts out of a head that snapped. That sucks. Um, and I was doing really good, really, really good with keeping all my coolant in the coolant catch. And then I pulled the heater core hose off of the water pump and I thought I had the water pump drained and I was wrong. <laughs> I was wrong. And so now I have Lake Erie under my car and I got to clean that up. Um, so the next step now for me is to get the steering rack and move that or at least get it off its mount so I can move it enough to pull the crank pulley. Once you get the crank pulley off and the front cover can come off and I can start pulling out the cam. Um, well, I can't do that yet. I can take the heads off, pull the lifters and all that crap so that I can get the uh, so I can drop a lifter into the oil pan, which I've done before. I use the uh, the dowel method and I stuck dowels in the oil f uh, feed holes by the lifters and uh, it didn't work. It didn't work at all. Um, I was trying to put the new cam in and the cam got stuck and I pulled it out and I saw one of the lifters was just sliding down the bore and then it went tink 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 and found its way to the windage tray and that was um, that sucked because that was in my uh, my Trailblazer SS. Well, it's a Saab, but no one knows it is that. So that was an LS2, um, which had the front diff on the oil pan and, and all that crap. So that was a freaking nightmare to do. I think it'd actually be easier if it happened in this one. But um, I have CNC ported heads. I have a uh, medium sized cam. It's actually a, a blower cam. Um, I, I got a while back because I bought a blower for this. But I changed my mind. I'm not going to put it on. I don't think. And um, I'm, I have a short block being built right now. Well, it's being bored and honed, and then I'll be building it. Uh, and the cam that's going to go in that is significantly bigger than this cam right here. And uh, I can't use that cam in this build because um, it's got like 68 degrees of overlap. So it's really big. And I would bang all the pistons into the valves if I tried to put it in the engine with stock pistons with no valve release cut into them. Um, these things just have flat tops. So not a big enough valve release cut into them for that. <clears throat> so I'll put the heads on. I'm still debating whether or not I'm going to put the shaft mounted rockers on it. Uh, or if I'm just going to do a training upgrade on the stock rockers for this. I'm also debating whether or not I'm going to put the gear drive timing on. I really kind of do want to just so I can hear it whine and have people think I have a blower. Um, so I still might, I still might. I might just do the entire valve train as if I was doing the big build um, just to work out any of the bugs now. And in case there's an issue and I smoke this block for some reason, well then I just, you know, whatever, it's not the expensive built one. So I might, we'll see. I'm gonna keep taking pictures and doing some short updates to see if I can uh, uh, you know, put a chronological timeline together for this build. Uh, I'm also doing, uh, so I have Cook's headers, I have a uh, Kelford cam, I have comp, uh, link bar, hydraulic roller lifters, the short travel ones. Um, they're crazy expensive because they are the short travel. Um, and then I have the shaft mounted roller rockers. And I'll start getting pictures of those in the next in the next couple of videos as I get to install on it. So that's it. Thanks.